Hello. This is going to be the first video that I use my voice for, and that's because for one of the games, I actually use my voice to communicate to my other friend. It'll all make sense when you watch the second game, so just stay tuned. Anyways, let's get started. So, the reasons I made these games were because I actually wanted to practice my game development skills, and also a troll my friends and I would just come up with a random funny idea or something that I thought was cool one day and be like, yeah, I'm gonna try and make this. And I would. I literally made a Trello page for the second game. If you don't know what Trello is, it's basically like a website for planning stuff. And I would write down a bunch of ideas, notes, concepts, etc. alongside some assets like music or sounds that were planned to be used for the game. It, it was a lot, like only a few people were going to see the game at first. But hey, it's fine now, because I decided to make a video on them, since I thought they were pretty interesting. This all only applies to the second game, like I made the second game around a year ago. The first game was pretty recent, I made the first game around a week ago, which is crazy if you compare the two games. Anyways, I would get my friends to play these games by going on some random alt account and sending a friend request to them. I would obviously tell them to accept the friend request on my main, and when they did accept the friend request, I'd message them. I would just be like, hello, you have been sent here by him, right? And then I'd tell them about the game and also send the game link shortly after. I just liked being on an old account for these kinds of things because I thought it was more mysterious and exciting that way. That's pretty much it regarding the context of everything. Now it's time to move on to the actual games. For the first game, it has very heavy inspiration from boss fighting stages. An old Roblox game made in 2013 that is still being updated this year. The game has a very unique dash system. To dash in VFS, you have to press Q and E to go sideways, and double tap W and S to go forward and backward. I tried to replicate this dash system for the first game, however, the regen and amount consumed is completely different. I didn't try to exactly copy the system, I kind of just try to go off my memory of it. And the only thing I knew was that you could use Q and E to dash. I decided to name the Roblox alt account holding the game, Final Guest Boss. Yeah, very hilarious reference, skill-based boss fights creator. Anyways, the weapon you're given to fight these bosses is a sword. Very simple weapon, you just M1 and swing left and right. Very basic combo. The abilities for this game are actually different from BFS. You don't press Z and X for the abilities. Instead, you just equip a tool and it uses the ability, similar to deep weapon. The bosses you defeat grants you new abilities, similar to what the bosses had, and you also gain 5 more health and damage. This all gets explained at the start by a guy named Quincy. It's just some random name I thought sounded cool, I don't know. There are 4 bosses in total, the third boss being the hardest. I'll explain the bosses when I get to commentating the footage. That's pretty much all I have to say about the first game. From now on, I'm going to be live commenting on the footage when my friends fought these bosses. Enjoy! Alright, hello. So I'm going to be watching, you know, the footage that I got from the people who played the trials. And the first person is Pilkins X. You know, he's one of my friends. And he's actually pretty good at boss fighting games. I mean, I don't know if he's like that good, but like, he played a lot of boss fighting games in the past, and he still plays boss fighting games. And this is um, how I would watch them. I would just be invisible, and then I would type in the text box at the, the bottom left. Basically, he just wakes up in this like world or whatever, and then he has to talk to Quincy. He's, it's basically like a tutorial for those people who actually don't play boss fighting games. I mean, he knows how everything works, but still, he has to go through it, because it's like, it's slightly different. For like, the responses and stuff, they have to type in the chat to respond. And it's like this, they, they have to type it out and send it in the chat because, I don't know, I just think it's like, more immersive, kinda. And I also get to see like, how they responded to the, the question while I'm watching them. So it's like a good way to see what they said. And, you know, as you can see, he misspelled. <laughs> he said about, not to. Which is kind of... Is, I know it's like annoying to type it out, but like... I, I need to see what they said. 
they said, you know? But yeah, this lasts for a while, the intro, like, it's literally just talking and about the goal of how you should help them out to get the treasure and stuff. Yeah, 40 stamina. But it's not even that bad. You regen stamina pretty fast, and you have 200 stamina. Do any attacks here predict? If you're wondering what predict means for bosses or like attacks, that basically means, like, let's say you're moving left, then the boss will aim left or like angle his attack to make it so like you run into it. That's basically what predict means. Basically, it just means like they predict your movement. That's basically what the name means. All right, I'm just gonna say this now. Um, every footage is like 20 minutes. Like the game is about like 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna be skipping around a lot. And I have to, you know, I have to commentate on every single person going through the trials. Like, goddamn. Yeah, see, this guy's a freaking BFS tryhard, so. Of course, he mentions the ZNX. I don't know where he's going, but I don't know what he did here. Why did he, why did he do this? He tried, he tried to dance clip through the barrier. That's not gonna work. Yeah, it's like 10 stud, as I said. Yeah, he just gets like a new tool, and if he equips the tool, it auto uses it. But he keeps unequipping the sword. I don't know why. I heard some people didn't like the auto use skill. Like when they equip the ability, they expect to to click to use it. Like they're not used to auto using the ability. All right, here's the first boss, Tyrone. See, I, I don't know why he's acting so shocked here. Well, what's wrong with Tyrone, you know? So, the first boss, he's, he's not that bad. If you just keep your distance and don't go so aggressive, it shouldn't be that bad. And also, if you just, like, spin in a circle around him, it could, that could work too. The only move you should really worry about is Meteor Slam, because that move does, like, 40 damage. Yeah, 45 damage, as you can see he got hit. All the other moves are not that bad. They're easy to dodge. It's only Meteor Slam that's kind of hard. Okay, he's running. I can see he's running a lot here. And you can see he unequipped his sword again. I, I still don't get why people aren't used to that. Because you just, you just press the number and it uses the ability. Yeah, he doesn't really attack that much. He's just running. I mean, he, he's attacking right now, but like... Before he was kind of just running. He just runs and then hits a spin slash occasionally. If he hits one spin slash, he, he kills him. Yeah, there you go. He did it. See, I, I mentioned to him here that abilities are auto use. It's kept freaking unequipping the sword. I think he's just not used to it. Oh, yeah, also, the camera broke. Like, I can't move. Like, the camera's not on me, it's just there. So, this is a pretty bad bug. Yeah, there's a lot of errors. <laughs> uh, don't worry about those errors, they're not that bad. Yeah, so I had to, like, try to fix it. But it's, it was hard to fix. I think I spent, like, five minutes trying to fix this bug. Because I was trying to use Dev Console to try and fix it. Oh yeah, here's the second boss. Wait. Yeah, here's me trying to fix it. I think I- yeah, I fixed it here. But I'm gonna try to, like, explain it. So he has this spin slash move, as you can vaguely see there. And that move is really annoying. Because he goes, like, really fast, but you can easily dodge it if you just go in circles. Yeah, look at him. As you can see there, he was, like, jumping around. And then he has this other move called Kanchi, which is, like, some multi-slash thing. He always dashes forward and uses it. So, you just like dash backwards or sideways. And he also has Judgment Slash. It's not that bad, it's easy to dodge. But if you do get hit, it's a lot of damage. There he is, he's dead. And I had to do the freaking Dev Console command again. And here's the third boss. Uh, oh my god, bro. This bug was so annoying. Yeah, here's the third boss. Avery. He said that he's different from the others, and he is. He actually has projectile moves compared to like all the melee people. 
Crimson Pillars is just, you know, Pillars Orb. And he can predict attacks too. Like his Scarlet Orb, it literally predicts your movement. Same with Pillars, kinda. But yeah. And he has a beam move too that also predicts your movement. But if you just bait him, it's easy to dodge the beam. Like, to dodge the beam, you just... You go left, right? And then you jump, you jump left when he's gonna fire, and then you dash right. And then that's how you like bait it. So, he's like... That, that was crazy lag. Like he, he, like his sword is unequipped there. Like he keeps unequipping it. But yeah, he's not really attacking much here. He's kind of just foc more focused on dodging than attacking. He's waiting for the, like the beam so he can attack it. Oh, here, uh oh. <laughs> yeah, here's his phase two. This is also another reason why he's different from the others. Yeah, he has a bunch of new moves. Well, some of the moves, they're not really new, some of them are just buff. And, oh, he died here! Like, Scarlet Orbs, he fires like five more orbs compared to one. And it's pretty annoying to dodge. And Pillars, he summons more and it's faster. Ruby Rays is a new move. It's really broken. He actually complains about the move later on. We'll see. Yeah, right now you can see he's not attacking much. He's kind of just focused on dodging. And then when he gets close, just use as many skills as possible. Like when there's an opening. See, okay. I the ruby the ruby raise hitbox is like really jank. And while well, the hitboxes in general, like at this point they're like really jank. I fix them later on though. But like right now. The footage we're watching, it's not the best. Alright, Scarlet English, I forgot to mention. Another new move. It's just a bigger pillar. Well, it's not a bigger pillar, it's an like explosion. But it, it still has like an indicator. If he raids again, let's go. Yeah, see, the hitbox is pretty jank. And he's dead! <laughs> and here, here he is, complaining about Ruby Rays. Unbalanced prediction. He's, he's actually pretty wrong. It's not about the prediction. I feel like it's more about the hitbox. Because you could dodge it pretty easily, like the first two. If you just have enough stamina. Oh wow. You can see, it took a while to attack there. He's under 1000 health. Almost there. Oh, Scarlet Orb spam. Oh my god. He dodged all of them though. I mean, see, this is just like living proof that he's a a BFS tryhard. Oh, he dodged the the third one. Oh, another one. <laughs> okay, he didn't dodge that one. And he did it. Wow. Oh yeah, the dev console command I was using is, wasn't working, so I had to like I had to type in some new one. So here's the fourth boss. This is actually the the final boss in the game. And it's actually you! So I actually play as the final boss because it's supposed to be like, like a clone of the player, kind of. So they like fight themselves. And so I use the same moves as them and like try to mimic their movement, kind of. There's also a new move. Uh, I forgot to mention all the new moves, but there's a new move as you can see. Now look, look at that hitbox! <laughs> Like, what is that hitbox, bro? Dude, that's what I've been saying, like, about the hitboxes being jank. Yeah, look at that. I could've killed him if I did Kanchi there. Cause Kanchi does a, a lot of damage. And I could've killed him there, too, if I, if I did Kanchi. I just kept using lightning stabs for some reason. Oh! <laughs> like, bro, the hitbox is crazy. And I died. If the hitboxes weren't that jank, and I actually used Kanchi more, I could have probably like taken a couple of lives off of him. See, I'm, here I am complaining about the, the healing. I'm not wrong though. He heals very fast, but at the same time I made it. But I know- okay, here's the thing though. See, I did make the healing and stuff, but I never really tested like two player against the imitator. 
yeah, that's pretty much the end. He just Quincy just says good job. Uh, the treasure. There's there's literally no reward. The treasure is fake. I didn't. I, I had no idea what to make the treasure be, or like the end. Yeah, here's here here's where he writes like a an essay. I mean, the only thing they get after they beat it is a badge, and that's it. So here's the second person. Let me pause it. His name is Polikmar. The market. Hello, everybody. Player. My name is. Let's watch. Okay, I'm just. Oh yeah, you're gonna hear the Discord notification a lot, by the way, because I was actually, um, you know, streaming to a couple people. There are other people watching him do the trials, so that's why you'd hear a Discord message sound sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna skip until. Cause this, this is just a tutorial, like we already seen this. Oh yeah, this arrow thing was in the way too. I tried to get rid of it with Dev Console. Yeah, there we go, it's gone. I got rid of it. Yeah, this is literally the same thing, I'm skipping. See, I, I let him know in the chat I'm watching, and, you know, a couple other stuff. Right, here's the first boss. So, he also has the same issue of like, sometimes unequipping the sword. You know, that's fine, because, like, some people, you know, they aren't used to, like, tools auto-using abilities. And he, he also, later on, you know, he says that he wasn't used to, like, the dashing. Because to dash, you had to, like, double tap. And he said, you know, he wasn't used to it. He has a tendency to dash backwards a lot, as you can see there. I don't know if that's really a good idea, because double tapping S a lot is Really good. It's a lot easier to just press Q, Q and E to dodge instead, instead of like double tapping S to go backward. Cause like Q and E is just one button, you press it and then you dodge. Right? You double tap, it's a lot more work. There you go, he did it! He just lands one spin slash, he, he does it. Yeah, the discord stuff, I'm just skipping through it. Okay, as you can see, you know, over here, he says it'll take a second for him to get used to this. And I'm pretty sure he said that because of the the auto equip and the dashing. Which, you know, that completely makes sense. Yeah, he dashes backwards a lot. Q and E is uh, a lot easier for this. Oh shoot. Yo, he's kinda low. Yeah, for G10 you either like just keep jumping or you just go in a circle. Kanji, you just, I don't know man, just dash backwards I guess. You can, you know, replace the double taps if you like just angle your character sideways and then press Q and E. You know, that's another option that you can do. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck? Okay, I was gonna say something, but he just did like a super jump. Okay, I was gonna say, um, this is a, a new button that I added called Reset Camera. And remember how I was like trying to go into dev console and trying to like type in commands to fix the camera? Well this button, I just click it and it, you know, it immediately fixes it. So whenever a boss dies, I would just click reset camera and it'll immediately fix. This is very good, I'm glad I added that. Oh, he died there, no way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's rough. Yeah, G10's a very annoying move. I forgot to mention that. Like Mar, he doesn't play that many boss fighting games, so you can expect him to not, you know, be the best, you know, compared to Pilk, who's just you know, like he plays BFS like every game. Well, not BFS, he plays a SBBF, which is basically BFS, but just different. Like Mar, however, he barely plays these games. Man. Okay, seven HP. Yep, he's dead. This is where I clicked reset camera to reset my camera. Oh yeah, also the dialogue's bugged here. He's, he's not Hiroki, he's Avery. I forgot to change that. I'm just gonna say right now, he lost a lot of lives to this boss. Oh, there. He got red by the beam. Yeah, you need to like dash when the beam happens. Like, once you're in it, dash immediately. Yeah, there. He, he actually dodged it. Oh, damn. <laughs> quite a lot of damage that he took there. Yeah, he doesn't really have that much time to attack. Like, he's still at 2,000 HP. Phase 2 happens at uh, 1,500 HP. Oh, 
he dies here, yep. <laughs> yeah, the beam killed him. He was at the end of it. Or no, the start of it. He just died. He almost died there again. Oh my god. Okay, 90 more HP left. Oh, okay, that lag was crazy. Yeah, he's pretty laggy. He's like his effects and stuff. Okay, phase 2 completely heals to full HP. Yeah, he's gonna die a lot here. Especially by a Scarlet Ignition. Because it would just predict where he's moving and he just die. I think he dies here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by Scarlet Ignition. That was like his the move he kept dying to. <laughs> it just read him, bro. That was the second time he died by Skyler. Oh, he's lower. He's, I think he dies here. Yeah, he died here. <laughs> okay, here I was like, I was getting the, like the live change ready in case like he lost all this. I don't know why I did this. It, it wasn't gonna happen. Wait, did he die again? Oh, snap, he died again. What? Oh, he died by the beam. Damn. Oh my god, he died again. See, now I was really getting it ready. Oh, I, I set it up. I don't know why I set it to 10. I should have just waited. But I eventually set it back to, to 3 later. You know, it's funny because I was originally going to make the lives for this game, like, only 3. <laughs> 3 or 6. I was going to make it 3 or 6. And I'm really glad I didn't do that because this guy would have... He would have already gotten kicked by them. I mean, I think a lot of people would have gotten kicked by them. Because I know some people lost more than three, more than three or six lives. Like people who aren't like good at this type of games at all. Okay, there, I set it back to six. I mean, not six, three. Oh wait, he's about to die again. <laughs> what the heck? No way! <laughs> he's at two lives now. Oh. All right. He actually avoided the Scarlet Ignition. Okay, never mind. 100 HP, bro. Just keep attacking. You can win. 90. Come on, bro. Just land a Conchi or something. He's gonna die. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Alright, now um, we're gonna see how he does against me. The Ruby Beam hitbox is gonna be abused like crazy. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's, that's so fair. No, we both use our beams here, and we both get hit. Even though we're nowhere near the beams. Oh. Yeah, see, sometimes the hitbox, like, is normal, but then sometimes it's just, like, completely jank. Like, here, like, I was just... Oh my god, I was lagging like crazy, too. Like, there was... It was normal. The, those were normal. And then sometimes it could just be like absolutely just not. <laughs> Bro, that that's actually so stupid. Oh my god. I, I can't believe I didn't fix this like earlier. Now I'm dead. Yeah, see I, I say that, but I fix it later on. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. As you can see, uh, he says, you know, th the thing he struggled with was dashing. As you can see there, you know. And that makes sense, because, you know, having to double tap the key is very weird. And also pressing Q and E to dash, you know, sideways is also pretty weird. But if you, you know, if you play BFS in games like that, I mean, it's not really a problem. You just have to get used to it. Okay, that was pretty much it. Alright, the third guy, uh, nice guy 0381, another friend of mine. Now, it's pretty interesting because he actually kinda plays boss fight games, not like too much, like, he's not like a tryhard on them, like Pilk, but he plays it like occasionally. I also got some information from Polykmar that in boss fights, Nice tends to play a lot more aggressive for the boss. It's so, like he likes to just go in and attack more instead of focusing on like dodging. Okay, I'm literally gonna skip this. This is just the same thing. 
he also wasn't used to the the auto usability thing. Like I don't know, so many people just hate that for some reason. Honestly, personally, I just think it's a lot easier. Yeah, you can see he goes for attacks. Oh, f <laughs> okay, I didn't, right, I didn't expect it to be that quick. Okay, yeah, he actually dies to the the first boss. He's not used to it switching. Yeah, I mean, I guess like if it's a tool, you expect to you know equip it and then click. Here, it's just you you equip it and it just automatically switches to your sword. I feel like he lost his life there to Tyrone because. He was playing, you know, very aggressively, so... As you can see, he's like going for attacks way more often. Like, occasionally dodging, but like... He's more focused on, like, attacking. And he also <laughs> equips the sword a lot, I mean... Yeah, he said it himself, like, he's not used to it. Yeah, it's crazy he lost the life to the first boss. And, and he says it's easy too, see, that's that's the crazy part. Rose the only person who lost the life and says it's easy. Why <laughs> does it auto-equip? Bruh. Yo, I don't know what games he'd be playing that like... Where you have to like equip the ability and click to use it. Like that's so much work, like imagine having to do that, like... You press 2, you click, and then you switch to 1, like... Why do that when you can just have it be like, oh, you just press 2 and it uses the ability like that. Okay, yeah, he... he <laughs> the bosses, you know, they glitch out a little there. They, like, spin really fast. I don't, I don't know why that happens. But they fix themselves eventually, so... Okay, he gets pretty cooked here by Kanchi. Like, he gets in... He gets lame. <laughs> He keeps walking into the Kanchi to like try and attack. Oh wait, he's getting cooked. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think he like ran into the barrier or something. I don't know what the, what happened there. But he lost another life. <laughs> to the second boss. I think everyone previously hasn't lost a life before Avery. Oh my god! Oh my goodness, bro! He's getting cooked. I don't. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I'm a. I'm a be for real. I think he's just playing way too aggressively, and that's like making him lose a bunch of lives. Okay, man, he he's really spamming Conchi here. Like he he used Conchi like so many times, and that like really just destroyed his health. And he's almost dead. He's almost dead. And he's dead. He, he only lost two lives, you know, not, 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 easy! <laughs> Man, there's no way he calls it easy when he lost two lives. Alright, let's see how he does against Stavery. Oh man, he already died. He already died. That's what. <laughs> oh yeah, right, I forgot to, it's invisible for him because he's playing at like one, like graphics level one. So the beam doesn't like properly render for him. Cause like if you're at you know graphics level one, the particles don't look the best. And since it's a beam, you know having it having low graphics also changes that as well. Oh my! What the heck? See, he's playing at one still. I'm pretty sure because he's like literally walking into the beam. And here I am yelling at him to turn his graphics up. Like this is literally phase one, and he's already he already lost two lives. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's three lives lost. Okay, here comes phase two. I can't wait to see what happens. You know, I actually thought he was gonna lose all his lives here. He's spinning. He almost died again to the beam. What the heck? Okay, guys, this is what happens when you you have a bad computer, you just lose. See, he's playing very aggressively. And he's dead again. <laughs> it's always the beam that kills him, bro. And he dodged that. Yeah. He's just dodged Ruby Rays like really well so far, out of everyone. And I actually mentioned this later. Scarlet Mission is so laggy. Though. 
god. Oh, he's dead again. Two lives. <laughs> the same as Polykmar. Except he lost way more. Like, before Avery. Like, how, how does he keep dodging that, dude? Like, Ruby Rays is not supposed to be easy to dodge. <laughs> yeah, effects are, you know, they're pretty laggy. There's where I mentioned he dodged Ruby Rays the best. And it's true, like, he took the least amount of damage from Ruby Rays. But he still lost, like, so much of his lives to, like, the normal beam, which is wild. Alright, here's where I, where I lock in and abuse hitboxes, of course. <laughs> Yo, he almost died there, not gonna lie. Oh, no, he's dead anyways, never mind. Dude, that's another instance of me abusing the hitbox. Man, these hitboxes are awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup, that's so cool, man. <laughs> he almost dashed back into the into the beam, and then oh my god, that damage, man! I'm so surprised. I oh my goodness, I should have just went in there and did the conchi, and he would have died. Oh, I died. No. But at least I like got two lives off of him though. See that that's good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Fourth person, um, Nashimashi. They're actually um Oh yeah, they were dressed up as visitor from hours. I, yeah, I just found that kind of funny. I actually made a video on hours, believe it or not. But yeah, um this person's actually like really good at BFS. Like, I I'd say they're, you know, a tryhard. They're actually Pilk's friend, so that's probably why that they're so good at BFS. Skipping the tutorial once again, because we already saw this. Okay, alright, here's the first boss. Like, when you just look at, like, how she plays, like, you can already tell that they're, like, a pro at, you know, BFS with the way they dodge and stuff. Like, just, just look, bro, just look. Like, they're, like, conserving like their stamina and like dodging only sometimes when when she needs to and like attacking at the right times and all that and she even you know angles herself like if she wants to dash backwards she would just angle sideways and then press Q right like you can like immediately tell they're good at these type of games oh she got hit by the meteor slam there she got a little low so that just like proves how overpowered healing is like if you just if you're low, like super low, you just run away, and then you'll heal really quickly, and you can just go back. Like, there's actually someone, like later on, who does the trials that actually like just runs constantly because <laughs> they kept getting low, and then they just heal. It was so like bad, bro. Like the gameplay for that guy was just oh my god. You'll you'll see, you'll see. Look, she's already about to win, bro. Yeah, there you go. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know what I expected, like. She's like, I don't know, like a skilled player in like SBBF or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, she also hates Quincy for some reason, like, every time he speaks, she's just like, STOP TALKING, STOP, STOP SPEAKING. Like, I don't know what Quincy did to her, but like, he, he's not that bad, bro. Like, what did Quincy do? Like, he's just trying to help, you know? And you're asking him to shut up. Yeah, you can see she only dashes once for some of the attacks, like, as soon as she sees like a like a chat bubble, she dashes once, and occasionally, you know, dashes more than once, if it if the situation calls for it. You can see like she jumps over the the G10 attack, and then just dashes left, like right over his head. That's another strat you can do, or you could just you know walk in a circle, like I said earlier. Oh, dang, she took a lot of damage from that. That was like half her health gone from G10. Oh my god, the Kanchi spam is crazy. He's almost dead, just land like a lightning stab or something, and he's dead. Swing slash, yep. I think out of all the people so far, she's she definitely killed the bosses the fastest. 
if I'm pretty sure. I don't know, though. I have to check. But, like, just from those two bosses alone, like, I feel like she definitely did them the fastest out of anyone else. Because, like, she was dodging at the right time, so she never needed to, like, run away. Because she wouldn't take that much damage. That allowed for more time to land hits. So, like, it was just a lot faster. It felt a lot faster, in my opinion. Already at half health. That's, um, not looking too good. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Damn! Yo, that- the Scarlet Explosion just reached that far. Oh, Scarlet Orb Spam, let's go. Yeah, Scarlet Explosion is a very dangerous move. Because it's like, it's pretty fast, and you have to get pretty far away to avoid it. See, there's the, the bait. She walks left and then dashes right when the beam fires. Like, what was that? What the heck? Oh, phase two, here we go. Turn it up a little. And it immediately starts with ruby rays, wow. And an another ruby rays, of course. Starts with two of the most broken moves in his moveset. Or she might die. Well, oh, that was close, what the heck? Oh, oh my, what the heck? But she was so close to dying. Oh, damn. Yo, it's always Scarlet Explosion that kills her. Oh, another Scarlet Explosion. Oh my goodness, bro, what the heck? She always gets so close to dying. Honestly, I think Scarlet Orbs or Scarlet Ignition is like the laggiest attacks that he has. Like the particles are just so like, there's too many, man. Whenever there would be like a Scarlet Ignition, like right in front of the camera, it would just make like the game go like, 5 FPS. Oh my gosh, this is about it. Oh no. Oh yeah, <laughs> <But> she, <laughs> she loses a life there because he uses ruby beam when he's down, and then she just dies there. That, that doesn't count. I don't think she was expecting him to use ruby beam, because like he shouldn't be able to use ruby beam when he's knocked out. Oh, here I go. Time to abuse hitboxes again. Actually, the hitboxes in this one, like, when I was going against her, it wasn't that bad. Like, most of the time it was normal. Except when she went, you know. Like, like that, that, was, that wasn't normal, but like, whenever I would use it, it was most of the time normal. Oh my god, I almost got a kill there. Like, see, that was like, normal. Like, yeah, it's just, it's not that drink. Oh yeah, I started to lag a lot. Oh my- Yo, flashbang, what the heck? Yeah, I started to lag like crazy here. My ping was like, I don't know, like 2k or something. Oh, we both used it. How is she not dead from that? What the heck? She should have died by that. Like, she keeps having these like, close to death moments and it's, it keeps happening. Oh, here's the lag. Yo. <laughs> okay, this is where the lag just got like unbearable. It was just it was frozen for so long. <laughs> and you would just hear like the the microwave sound from the for Ruby Beam. And that that was crazy. <laughs> My ping was at least like it was probably like ten thousand at that point. It was frozen for so long. Twenty K <laughs> Bro, that was not fair, I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, that that's pretty much it. The fifth person. Uh, their name's Monday Door. This, this is the person that I was talking about who kept running. <laughs> so get ready to see like the most, not not the best gameplay, you know, because he's just running the entire time. But hey, it's whatever, you know. You got you got to do what you can do to win. But yeah, this is where I um at this point, this is where I fix the the hit boxes, which is good. And I also fixed some bugs too. How it says Avery's Hiroki, like I fixed that. 
I made it so it doesn't show anything, it doesn't show Hiroki. And yeah, I, I was also watching him with, you know, someone else as well. Like, they were also in the game, but they were invisible. This guy's, um, also Pilk's friend, so... He's also a tryhard of BFS, because Pilk is friends with so many boss-fighting tryhards, so... And I don't, I don't even know if you can call him a tryhard, because he was just running the entire time, but... I mean, hey, it's whatever. He said no here. And if you say no to when he ad like when he asks what your name is, then you can actually change your name to something else. So you can see he changed his name to Monday Door. His name before was like newbie59720 or something, which is like his username, but his display name's Monday Door, so he changed it, which is good. Okay, I'm gonna skip this now. This is just this is tutorial. Alright, here's Tyrone. Like, yeah, you can see he's like, you know, he's, whenever he gets like hit, he just like, you know, rides and yells. He gets hit once, he's, he plays like Pilk, because Pilk did the same thing, he got like hit, and he just runs and heals. But this guy, like, he does it a lot more. You know, see Pilk's telling him to stop running, but he's, he keeps running. He, he, bro said, haha, that's actually crazy. He's literally just mocking him. He's running away and just laughing at him. <laughs> he got really low there. And there he goes, he's running again. Oh damn, he was spamming Meteor Slam. Took like, almost all of his health. And he's running again. Let's go, dude! Don't worry, you're gonna, you're gonna see this a lot more when he fights the other bosses. Oh, he did it, wow. Insane. I could run forever. Okay, just wait until Avery. Man, he fumbles when it when Avery comes, because Avery actually has projectiles. And he just gets caught by projectiles and dies. Okay, by the way this guy plays, I can tell he's like a ranged player, you know what I'm saying? You know how like there's piercer in BFS where like there's like a bow and then you just shoot from like far away? I feel like he's one of those players, like I feel like he's a piercer main. Cause like he just runs away the entire time. And if you're, you know, playing a ranged class, that's all you can do. You just, all you can do is run away and shoot. Like, that's it. And that's how he's playing right now. So I feel like, you know, he's a ranged player. Oh man, he spawned really far away. <laughs> Alright, see, Hiroki's good cause he has a G10. And G10's pretty fast, so you can just catch him. Okay, but he actually knows how to avoid G10 though. Like, he's jumping and... Oh, whoa. <laughs> Okay, that was a little, that was a little cl Oh my goodness, what the? Yo, <laughs> he was spamming Q, bro. No, not Q, E. Okay. <laughs> I was get. okay, I'm not even gonna lie. I was getting kind of annoyed here, so I made Hiroki's walk speed faster. <laughs> but that didn't do anything, because he's like, for some reason, Hiroki's like lagging. He wasn't able to catch up to him. Like, he actually knows how to avoid G10. Like bro, the dash spam is crazy. I should have I should have coded it so like the more far away he is, the more likely uh, Hiroki is to use G10. Oh damn. Okay, here we go. This is where he gets cooked because Avery actually uses projectiles. Yeah, he actually struggled with uh, Kanchi. Yeah, I think because he kept running into it. He actually knew how to avoid G10. He will cheese this, he says, if it has ranged attacks. <laughs> yeah, he's cooked. But the ranged attacks aren't that bad, though. They're kind of, they're pretty easy to dodge. Until you get to phase two, that's where it, it really gets hard. Oh, he's getting low, he's getting low. Th this is where he runs. <laughs> of course. Alright, he's close to phase two. Oh, never mind. He activated it. Alright, this is where he's cooked. Yeah, he's low, he's low, he's so far away though, what the heck. Oh. Yo, yes, he died! Of course, out of all the moves, it'd be Scarlet Orbs to kill him. Because that's the move that, you know, catches runners the most. Ruby Race 2 is also pretty good. Like, if you're far away. That's why he dashes backwards, like, so far. 
when he uses Ruby Rays. So he can get that range, you know. See, he, he actually dodged Ruby Rays. It's crazy. Oh, dang. <laughs> See, Scarlet Orbs got him low, and then he got hit by the beam. I, I mean, he's not wrong. Scarlet Orb is really powerful. Wow. Yo, if he if he used Scarlet Orbs more, man, he would have lost way more lives. I actually didn't play as the imitator this time. Instead, um, Pilk did. So you're gonna see someone else be the, the imitator instead of me. So you get to basically watch a one v one, basically PvP. And the hitboxes have actually been fixed this time, so it's not gonna be like insanely jank. Oh, and you got a kill there. Because he uses Ruby Beam after, you know, he uses Ruby Beam, so it's like a free kill. Okay, I don't know what they're doing here. <laughs> they're just circling around each other. Yeah, it's just a lot of, like, not attacking most of the time. Like, as I said, a lot of running, you know. Because the reason, you know, the previous imitator games were, like, so quick is because of the jank hitbox. And like every time, it, like it would just happen and it would deplete like so much HP from the imitator. Or maybe I'm just you know bad at the game and they just killed me really quickly. I mean that that's also possible. Yeah, so he always uses Ruby Beam after he uses Ruby Beam. But you gotta realize you know it doesn't work most of the time because you have to actually charge it up, and that takes a while. They have plenty of time to dodge. Oh my god, he's so close to the- oh, there he is. He's dead. Damn. And he laughed at him too. <laughs> this, dude, this guy is so toxic. Alright, here's where like, you know, a lot of trolling happens. Like, I- like, pfft. I don't know, I just spawn random bosses in. Like, this guy, he's, you know, he's a- uh, He's an imitator. And then I spawned a bunch of Averys. <laughs> Oh god, this- I don't know, this is so stupid. And they all- they all went after me for some reason. Oh wait, actually, yeah, some of them went after, uh, Monday Door too. Yeah, this is just, I don't know, just pure chaos. Like, what is going on here? They all, all you see is just Ruby Beam, that's it. I spawned a bunch of Tyrones. <laughs> yeah, this- this was, you know, very interesting. It's just, just a meteor slam. They're just going crazy. And then here's a bunch of Hirokis. I, I kept teleporting him to me. So I, I you know, <laughs> could deal with this. We could deal with what I'm dealing. And then I spawned a bunch of Averys, of course. It, it was just... I mean... Just, just look at what's happening on screen. I don't know if I can really explain what's going on. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that's kind of loud. Okay, all right, yeah, that's it. All right, next. And that's all for the first game, if you want to play the trials for yourself, there's a link to the single player version down below. You can only play it though if you're on a computer. The second part to this video will be on screen right now, so feel free to watch it if you want. Bye!